Okay, so from here, we'll always want to make sure we're in the correct account, which is the force team at exp. Is that the right account we're working out of? It sure is. Okay, cool. So now to the left, let's just double check the domain brand safety. We're going to click on brand safety and then we'll click on domains. So if you scroll down just a bit and then domains. Okay, so, okay, perfect. So that's the domain. We're good. Okay, perfect. So now let's just, let's just double check. Um, click on connected assets. Sometimes with the connected and just integrated, not the very in the middle. Yeah, right there, connected. Okay, so add assets, see if there's anything to add. Sometimes we'll have to add our add account or add. Yeah, see, so right here. So check that circle. Um, that is the, um, yeah, that's the page that that domain will be connected to. Oh, cool. Now let's click on uh, data sources to the left, data sources, and then click on pixels. So you'll see pixels and then, yeah, for sure. I'm glad we're covering this. This is super important. Just connecting everything is super important. So everything, everything has to be connected to you. Like, even though we can set up the force team, you know, that that's its own account. It's a, it's, it's its own business manager. Um, it's like an entity. It's like, it's like you working with EXP, but then you also take, go, go a step further and you go form an LLC. Uh -huh. Right. The LLC is the umbrella. The LLC is, is, is kind of our is, is obviously our protection when it when you look at the corporate side of everything like corporation, like the LLC is your umbrella over here, the forest team at EXP, that is our umbrella. But under the umbrella, it has to be connected to somebody just like your LLC It's connected to somebody it's connected to you. Right. Mm -hmm. So over here, everything is connected back to you as well. So with the pixel go to and add people, it has to be connected back to you. So okay. go ahead and click on any of those that apply, either Sean and Anastasia. So click on both of them. Yeah, you can click on both of them. And then to the very, very right, manage pixel, full control. Shade that one to blue. Yeah, perfect. Assign. Okay, cool. So that's the pixel. It's tied back to, it's, 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 it's owned by the force team at AXP, the business manager, but, but it's tied back to you. Okay. Um, now let's click on one more thing, which is the ad account. So ad accounts to the left, ad accounts. And then over here, okay, perfect. So those are all connected. That's fine. Let's see if we need to add an, another asset. Let's see if we need to add, click on add assets to the right. Sometimes we have to add our pixel as well, but no, we should be fine. We, we yeah, we did, it, we did it the other way. We, we went to the pixel and then we added the ad account. So now we're fine here. Perfect. So all the business settings are, are, are updated. Now let's just click the dots at the top and go to audiences. Okay, we're gonna set up these audiences and then we're gonna also set up a custom conversion. So mm -hmm. these audiences over here, um, that top one may be your Kartra page. So you may be able to get rid of that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even remember what I was doing with this. Yeah, that was that was the about. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can you can leave those if you want, or you can just you can delete it. The intro video is the one that we put some money behind. Oh yeah, the videos for sure. But the other page is that still I don't a link? Even know what this is doing here? I don't remember. Well, is it? it well, don't delete it yet, yet. Just hover over it. You see the link. So if you hover over, there's the link. It's creative, creative real estate agents .com forward slash about. So is that link That's still active? I mean, creative real estate agents .com is, but I'm not going to be advertising anything for it. Okay, it. let's let's get rid. Let's get rid. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. So hit delete. Okay, okay cool. And then, and then the other ones are videos, which um, creative real estate page visitors, you can get rid of that one too. So the other ones, and then you got a website visitor, which is the the 56 Saragossa. Mm -hmm. um, where does that, that go? Way sold. <laughs> so I mean, it's a how it was a listing. It was our listing. Okay, so then you can just check one box at a time and just, just delete one at a time. Okay. I mean, it could be other, it could be buyers or something for the future, but. Leave the video one then, leave the 25% video, just take away the website. But if oh. you don't have that website anymore, I'm only doing this if you don't have that that website anymore and it's not even a link anymore. Okay. Okay, yeah. so, so now we have these videos. So now we're going to create an audience around the thank you page and the op and the landing page. So go ahead and click the blue button, create audience. And we'll just do, um, We'll do the landing page or either one. I mean, thank you page or whatever. And so this right here is what, is what it's all about, Anastasia. I cannot stress this enough. This is where your ROI is at. 
this is why most do not succeed with real, with Facebook ads, not just in real estate, but every business, every business. I've spoken to so many at this point, small business owners. Most don't succeed with Facebook ads because most don't create custom audiences. And the only way you're ever going to even create custom audiences is if you stay consistent running ads. Mm -hmm. Because as you run ads, every single second of the day that you're running an actual ad, whether it's a video ad or an image, it's taking them to a link or it's taking them to wherever. It doesn't even matter. Every single second that you're running a Facebook ad, you're, you're, you're collecting data that you're going to be able to leverage in the future. But again, if, if one doesn't stay consistent running Facebook ads, and then also most don't create custom audiences, mm -hmm. that's where they fail. Because it's all about creating your custom audiences. But again, you're only going to do that if you stay consistent running ads. But custom audiences is where your money's at because that's where you're retargeting previous people, previous engagers, those who watch the 25% videos or those who have landed on your, your landing page but haven't opted in or and or you're excluding the audience of those who landed on the thank you page because those who land on the thank you page are leads. So you now need to have a specific custom audience set up around them. And now you should be excluding them in future ads, right? So most don't even do that. Most, I probably already lost you with all this stuff I'm saying. Like most don't get this far. Mm -hmm. And this is where your money's at. You mm -hmm. have to be retargeting previous engagers. So, so the only ones you'll ever really, really ever do is, is website and video. Like I wouldn't even do an audience around your Instagram account or your Facebook page because you, you don't know who's hitting those pages. Yeah. So, so that traffic is coming from all over the place, especially if people are just following you on Instagram. I guess you could, you probably could set up an audience, but, but I like, I like going off of like real, real data. Like either you watched my video and I know that because Facebook tracked it or you landed on my website. And I know that because Facebook, my pixel tracked that. Right. That's a yeah. real action that I can really oh, track. Yeah, um, but random people that are following me on Instagram yeah, are somebody, random people. It could be somebody in the other in another country. That it could be another country. It could be someone in a different state. It could be yeah. someone way below age. Like it could be anyone random. Like, and so I don't want to really put those people in a custom audience and, and show them an ad because again, they may not even be my ideal client. Mm -hmm. You know, so when it comes to like other products or other, you know, types of businesses and yeah, that applies, but, but really in your case, video website, that's all you'll really need. So let's do website. We're going to do website and then we're going to just simply grab these links. The um, let's do the first one. Just go and grab any of those tabs at the top, either the thank you one or the opt-in, whatever, grab anyone. And so all you're going to do is grab just the URL, not the WW, not the HTTPS. It's, it's everything St. Augustine, yeah, all that's what we'll always use for custom audiences and custom conversions because we're going to set up a custom conversion as well. So this right here, what was this? The, 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 the opt-in page, the landing page? The thank you. Oh, the thank you page? Okay, cool. So right here, all we're checking is that forest team. Hit that drop down, the green dot. Make sure that that's the, yeah, that's the, our only pixel here. So that's perfect. So always make sure that that dot's green. And then the events, the alt website visitors, you're going to always, always, always go with specific people who visited specific web pages. And then the retention, the days, that's all kind of up to you. It goes up to 180. So Facebook can start tracking anyone who has visited this page in the past 180 days. Now, now obviously the page hasn't been up that long at all, but from this point on, for example, 180 days. So they'll track, they can track, but I wouldn't, I would, that's the max. I wouldn't really go there. I'd probably leave it 30 days because okay. if you put a, if you create an audience of those who landed here with the, in, within the last 180 days, and then, and then you run an ad tomorrow and you retarget that audience. It's like, dude, P, what pages that I landed on 174 days ago, I have no recollection, recollection of that at all. Right. Right. So it's like, I'm probably not your brand. Your name may not be top of mind yeah. if I'm in that audience. Right. Right. So maybe the last 30 days, if you hit my website in the last 30 days, I'm going to show you another ad. Mm -hmm. Right. You can, I would go off of 30. I'd go off of 30. You can All even right. go lower than that. 20 days, 15 days. Anyone who's hit my page within the past 15 days are going to see my next ad. Right. Cause that you're, you're more top of mind. 
in that case, but 30 is fine. 30 is fine. Leave it at 30. Go, go ahead and paste in that link right there. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then always hit the drop down. So that's that page scroll down. We're going to give it a name and this is simply seller guide leads. Like that's what I would name it. Seller guide leads. That's oh, the this audience. Is the, this is the thank you page. That yeah. Thank you page. So anybody that landed. Yeah. Anyone who lands here is oh, a lead. Ah, uh, right. That makes right. Sense. Anyone who lands here is a lead, is a seller guide lead. So go ahead and create audience. So, oh, okay. So just no description. It's awesome. Yeah, none of that. Just create right. audience on this one. So Beautiful. done. Okay. So in the future, as you start to run ads and you actually start to capture leads, that's when you'll start excluding that audience from future ads. Uh -huh. Okay. Because your leads don't need to keep seeing your ads. Like they've already opted in. Right. So right. that's the thank you. Now we need to get this link and create um, the, the seller guide landing page or, or website visitors is what I call this one. So okay. all website specific, leave it at 30, paste in that link. Now, now here's the thing with custom audiences, it's specific. Like we are literally segmenting people. We're segmenting audiences based on, on this and that. So this right here is, is you can name it all website visitors. And, and what I would, what I would do is in parentheses, put only they've only, only, yeah, that's fine. All website visitors only. Now me, I may get a little bit more specific than all website visitors. Yeah. Cause as you start to build out a shitload of audiences, you're going to look at this and be like, okay, damn, what website was that? Should I say seller guide? Yes. Like you got to be specific. Like seller guide like yeah 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 like seller guide website visitors or something like that seller guide landing page visitors super specific yeah, yeah. take out all take out all it's just seller guide landing page visitors okay perfect so you'll know exactly what audience that is now here's what we have to do though again very specific we're telling facebook these are landing page visitors only they've never landed on the thank you page Mm -hmm. So we're going to exclude. So we right. exclude people. Click on exclude right there. Exclude people. Mm -hmm. And then now we're going to scroll down. We're going to match the top, which is specific, 30 days. Um, mm -hmm. And then now we're going to get the link for the thank you. Okay. Perfect. And that goes right there. Awesome. And then we create audience. Okay. So that right there, hit done that's an audience that you'll always want to retarget. Mm -hmm. So every ad from, let's just call it from ad number two and on, you'll always want to have an ad going, <clears throat> retargeting those people. Okay. Cause they landed there. They just haven't opted in yet. Right. It's never landed on the thank you page. Okay. So that's custom audiences. As you start to build out more web pages, simply grab the link, just the URL and create an audience. I always do this. This is the first thing I'll do right after I set up a new ad, like right when I set up a new ad or I'll do it before, like we're doing it right now, but yeah. especially right when I go set up a new ad, I'll right away, make sure that there's a custom audience set up for wherever I'm taking them. Mm -hmm. And then also, because I'll do, I do a lot of video, I'll, I'll come in right away and create a custom audience around 25%. Mm -hmm. So, so not only did we just create audiences around the pages, but whatever your next ad is going to be, if it's a video, create a custom audience around that as well okay. before that ad even goes live. Mm -hmm. So do you have, do you have that video up yet or no? I have it up. Um, the only thing that needs to be correct, probably ch it changed is the landing page link I included in the, in the verbiage uh, is incorrect now because okay. They, they built a whole new landing page. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. And here's what I would do also here. Um, here's what, when you, when you include a link, which you can totally do, whenever you click uh, connect, I mean, yeah, whenever you include a link in the description like that, in the text, mm -hmm. what I normally do is I'll normally shorten it. Oh, like a bit.ly? Yeah. Like I'll put a bit.ly there. Okay. Like it'd be, it'd be, it'd be bit.ly forward slash your free seller guide. Okay. Or I something like that. Update it real quick because with the new landing page and get the bit.ly link real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Grab a bit.ly link around that one. Um, and I'd, I'd use that right there. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I thought I'm, I'm already in bit.ly. 
but I'll just see. Hopefully, this will be quick. <laughs> Social media marketing. All right. Oh, there I am. Oh, okay. awesome. Create. Okay, cool. Okay. And I think it already copied it, right? It yes, copy. but just customize that back end part. Oh, oh, okay. Do you uh, ever do that? I forgot you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of that 3FHDX and, and put something something cool right. like your free seller guide or free seller guide or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, awesome. And then just hit save at the bottom. Oh, Perfect. Oh, no, this is not available. Um, okay, yeah. So free in. seller guide. Uh, um, of course. I don't know. <laughs> Free seller or how about um um free 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 seller guide free oh it's, oh that's good is that okay <laughs> yeah free seller wisdom offering wisdom yeah okay oops I copied it and it took me somewhere oh it, it was I guess it was testing it out but it looks like. It looks like it's copied. So let me just try and paste it in here. Uh, Cause we're probably just gonna use this particular, this right, right. And just share the video as an ad. I mean, share the post as an ad. Yes. Okay, well, let me see if I can just paste that in here then. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's the other link. Yeah, is that is that okay? Well, you can use that three, F oh, page or whatever, what or you can saying. maybe if I fix it, it will. It said yeah, it was just, created, so go back to Billy, just check it again. Um, okay. rather, yeah, just copy it from from there. Okay, let me try it. You should have tried to copy it, it took me somewhere else. Just just X out of this, X out of that little window there, and just refresh this page real quick. Oh, okay, make sure. Yeah, it's right there. I mean, so yeah, so just copy it from down there okay. to the right. Oh, will this work? Yeah, you could do that. I don't know where to look on a web page when somebody said, you know, I never realized how much text is in a web page until you and I are on these calls and I'm All like, right. where, where am I supposed to look now? <laughs> yes. So much text. So that's perfect. So when's the best time to sell your home in St. John's County? Okay. Awesome. I love it. Great. Perfect. There it is there. So that's, that's that link. And then, um, Just go ahead and refresh the page. Yeah, if you refresh it, that new link should be up there now. Oh, good. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Cool. So that looks good. Okay, so now, now let's go and do, we got to do one more thing real quick. We got to set up a custom conversion. Okay. So let's go into the ads manager. Let's just copy, go ahead and just copy the thank you page link. We're going to need that. So just go to the thank you page, grab that link right there. Yep. Okay, now let's go to, click on the dots to the left, uh -huh. and we're going to go to Events Manager. Okay, so over here, we're going to set up a custom conversion, um, and all this is is letting Facebook know about your thank you page. We, we, we let them know about the thank you page because we set up a custom audience. Mm -hmm. But now, as we go in and run an ad, Facebook needs to know which page are we ultimately trying to get people to, mm -hmm. and that's the thank you page. Oh, right. Okay. So um, go ahead and go ahead and click on diagnostics right there where the number one is towards the middle of the page diagnostics, click mm -hmm. on that and then scroll down and then you'll see three dots to the right okay. and go ahead and, and click on, on that. You'll see three dots. Yep. So go ahead and, and hit ignore. Okay. Now what we need to do though, we need to click on settings. We do need to get rid of a couple of links, I think. So hit settings, scroll all the way down. We're looking for um, traffic, per yeah, traffic permission. So click on that, create allow list. Yeah, click right there. So right here, Facebook is picking up these three domains um, as far as tracking the data. So Interesting. you can, I mean, there there is a St. Augustine now, Augustine now one. So you, I guess you can leave all those. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. So hit close. Okay, so we're good. So now. Click on overview right there, a little above. You got overview. Okay, so now scroll down just a bit. We're going to click on aggregated, actually up a little bit, aggregated event measurement. Yeah, click on that one. Configure web events. 
And then over here, we're going to click on domain verified. So that first one, that's one we're working with. So manage events. And then click on edit. And then over here is where we'll see. So go ahead and go ahead and I guess you can actually no, we'll go back. Let's do the custom conversion first. Hit the blue, hit or hit that triangle to the left, the triangle down. Yeah, Sorry. data sources. Uh, data hit source. that triangle um, right below the green plus sign. Go to custom conversions. Yep. Let's do this part first and then we'll come back to the web event. Okay, so this one right here. Um, this is, yeah, this is an older one. So let's get rid of this one. So go ahead and click on it and then just hit manage to the bottom left. And then you'll click on to the right of the rename. You'll hit hit that drop down and just delete. Okay, cool. So let's set up a new one. Create custom conversion. Click the blue one. And then now we're going to name it. This is very similar to the custom audience as far as the name. Seller guide leads. I think we named the other one. This could be the same. Seller guide leads. So this is the page that we're ultimately trying to get people to as we run the ad. So you're going to leave all what all URL traffic. You're going to leave the forest team, the green dot. You're going to click on that select your own category in blue. Select your own category. And then we're going to hit the recommended, hit the drop down, and come down to lead. So you'll see lead. Yeah, right there. And then just paste in that URL, which will be the thank you page one. Perfect. Create. Okay, so now what we have to do is you'll see it inactive. So hit done, and then you'll see um, it shows inactive. So now go to your thank you page mm -hmm. and refresh it. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. Now click on your pixel helper right there at the top. Okay, so the million dollar question is, is this your pixel? So this one ends in 6786. Go to Facebook real quick, the events manager. So that's 6786. No, oh the, other, the other one. Wrong page. 6786. Okay, so it's it's actually <clears throat> go click on um click on the dots to the left and just go to events manager. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> right over here. Okay, so it's not your pixel. Mm. It's, it's not your pixel. Okay. So your pixel is to the left, and that's 4110. Yours ends in 5254. Yeah. So that's what we just have to figure out. Can you log into your website? Do you have like a back end settings, or does someone else completely do everything, all this for you? Someone pretty much does the website for me. Okay, yeah. so here's all you got to do then. Okay. Here, here's all you got to do. And then, and then we'll have to, we'll have to schedule another call because this part has to be done first <clears throat> before, okay. before anything. So that's kind of weird that we were able to create the custom audiences around that pixel and the, and the dot was green actually. Well, maybe because that pixel is on other pages, that pixel is on other pages. Um, like other Karcher pages, like unless you completely cancel that account out, those pages are still, they're still out there. They're still somewhat active. And I think that pixel is on creative real estate agents.com, which oh. is, which is on Kartra. So it's the pixel is still showing that it's out there on some page. And that's mm -hmm. why it's a green dot. That's why we were actually able to set up our custom audiences and our, yeah, our custom audiences and our, oh. yeah, but, but, but now looking at your page, that pixel is not the same one. That's get it on the there? most important. So what you're gonna have to do is just simply, let's go to Facebook events yeah. manager. Mm -hmm. And all you're gonna do is click on, if you scroll, if you scroll, um, scroll down just a bit, you have add events. Actually, you went a little too far right there, add events. So right mm -hmm. there, add events. And then you go from a new website. Mm -hmm. And then right here, you can go install code manually. And then hit the green button, copy code. Okay, now go over to your email and paste that in. That's what you're emailing to the website people. Oh, okay. I'll go. I'll go to my little. Uh, I'll go to their their base camp thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. If they have like a customer service or like a support chat over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can you can send it this way. Yeah. However you communicate with them. Perfect. So you just you just paste that in. Yeah. And can you add my pixel? Yeah, can you please add my pixel? That's all. To the lead to the lead page. 
right? To or or to the thank you. Oh, and to any and all pages, whatever page, oh. every page, every page that pixel needs to be on it. Oh, every page of the website. Yeah. Okay. Which in this case, it's these two pages. But if you have other pages, then shit, just tell them all is pages. It, is it something they can do all at once and just throw them on every single one? Yeah. It, I'd want them to pro. I'd want them to prioritize the, the thank you page and the lead seller's guide page, obviously. No, we want- we do that internally on our Facebook site. Mm-hmm. All they do is add the pixel to the pages. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So all they're going to do is add the pixel to the pages. We take the links, which is what we did today and create our own audiences. They don't do any of that. They just add the pixel. Okay. So, so yeah, that's your pixel right there. Um, can you please add my Facebook pixel to my web pages? Perfect. Perfect. So they know exactly what that is and how to do it. And they just copy that and put it in, put it in. Cause there's, there's obviously someone's pixel there now. And it's, it's, it's probably just the default one, the company one that they, that they have, you know, before they give you the page or I don't know how that part works, but base camp that that's their pixel. Okay. Yeah. Right. So they yeah. should easily be able to just switch it out with yours and, and that's it. Okay. So that, that part has to happen first. And then, and then we can go set up the custom. Let's see if we can still set up the custom conversion, but um, there's no way to go ahead. And actually, you know what? That. No, no, we can't, we can't. That's why it's not showing. So if you X out of this, X out of this window right here, mm-hmm. go back to your thank you page and refresh it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's not showing. It would show right there in the pixel helper. So hit that right here. You would see, you would see seller guide leads. Mm, yeah. So it would say page view, micro data automatically detected. And then the third row down, it would say uh, seller guide leads. Interesting. Okay. Because that's your custom conversion. That's what you named it. It would say it right there below micro data. Gotcha. But it's not your pixel. So therefore it's not going to say it. Right. You know, right. and, and also if it was your pixel, it would also say it right there. Facebook pixel, pixel ID. So right where it says Facebook pixel, it would say the forest team Mm. because that's the name of your, watch, go back to your business settings. What did you name your pixel? You named your pixel, um, the forest team. Yeah. So that's the name of the pixel. That's what would be in that verbiage, but it's saying Facebook pixel It's just saying the generic, the general name, Facebook pixel. Yeah. Because that's not your pixel. If it was your pixel, you would, you would see, watch, let me, let me share my screen real quick. Yeah, that'd be great. So over here, like, look, this is, this is one of my pages. Let me refresh this page right here. So here's, here's one of my pages where, where my Facebook pixel on it is on it. So as I click on my pixel helper, because I'm logged into Facebook, it's going to tell me my name, right? It's going to show me which pixel. So I have two pixels tracking my pages, but that's the name of my pixel, the five-step blueprint. So yours would say the forest team, Mm, Okay. you know, so. Wow. Get that installed first, and then okay. and then we're literally one step away from running a full blown ad. We just okay. need to get that pixel installed, set up our custom conversion, and that's it. That's great. So yeah, our very next once you get that pixel installed, our very 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 next call should be at running the ad. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So schedule that whenever whenever you can. Okay. Thanks so much, David. I really Anastasia, appreciate you're it. so, so welcome. We're almost there. We're almost there. So yes, it's going to yes, be worth it. Thank I thank you. I really appreciate cool. your time. Talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.